Hi, I'm Jackson. I'm Kotar. Nice Kotar, to meet you. Kotar, nice to meet you. What's going on? I'm looking for Vincent. He escaped again. Get out of here. Yeah. That work has already started. Here, let yeah. me leave this here. And let's go look for Vincent. I walked up, and one of my worst fears has come true. Vincent, the escape artist, has escaped. How, How are you, man? Hey, Jackson, how you doing? You're Eric Oda, I'm man. Eric, yeah. Good I, to I see you. I looked in all his regular hiding spots. I checked the back, and he could go all up and down the street, behind the bushes, hiding. So let's go over there yeah. and look for Vincent, huh? Great. Cats try to escape for a lot of different reasons. I mean, they're hunters. They want to go out there and hunt their prey. Now, if they're not spayed or neutered, they're going to want to go out there, mark their territory, and, of course, reproduce. Vincent! Now, the last time I dealt with something like this was a few years ago with a cat I went to visit named Kitty. But at least we found her. Vincent! Come on, buddy, buddy. Vincent! No? Vincent is nowhere in sight. Now, of course, I want to keep looking for him, but I still also have to sit down with Eric and Kotar and learn more about their issues so that when he does come home, at least he stays home. Okay, guys. So, clearly, I already know what the issues are here. Yeah, he escapes every day. Yeah. Every day. Every, every day. day. He's coming back injured, and I'm really afraid that he's not going to come back one day. Yeah. You know. Does he get into fights a lot? Yes. Yes. In my opinion, it's just not safe for cats to be outside. So when Eric and Kotar told me that Vincent's been getting outside, getting into fights on a daily basis, man, the stakes went through the roof. He's destroyed hardwood floors by peeing in the same spot hundreds of times, oh, literally. He's, yeah, so he's a peer. He's yeah, a peer. Yeah. How old is Vincent? He's about six years old. When he was little, he was a great cat, great kitten. But as he got older and more mature, mm -hmm. those problems started to come out. That's interesting. Is he new? Um, he hasn't been neutered. And Why is he not neutered? I, I, as, a, as a man, I guess, I felt really bad. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> OK. Um, his manly urges are what's causing him to escape every day. His manly urges is what's destroying your home and causing him to pee on everything. Not to mention that one unneutered male can be responsible for up to 2,500 kittens in one year. There is a litany of awful things happening only because he's not neutered. I can't imagine, though, how neutering him is going to change these problems. They called me here to help them. I'm telling them what the problem is, and they're dismissing my advice. If I can't get through to Eric, Vincent is in big trouble. If we can't fix these problems, then we, we should get rid of Vincent. As, getting rid of him, to me, is not an option. It's not? No, it's not. Okay. I'm not willing to tolerate that. This just isn't working. So not only do I have to save this cat, looks like I got to save this couple, too. Clearly, I've got my work cut out for me. So I didn't want to waste any time. Hey, come on, let's go. I wanted to get up and have them show me around. This is the room formerly known as my music room. Uh, this was also Vincent's favorite place to pee. Is, it, is that because of him that it's sort of? Yeah, he has peed here hundreds of times, constantly smell like cat pee in here now. And it, that's, so that's got to be pretty bad to get to a point where you have absolutely been evicted. This was the tipping point. I wanted to wring his little neck. This is, actually, it's a pretty unholy mess. And if you look over here, he started over here. Look at all the chew marks. Not only are the blinds completely destroyed, but screens are torn out. There are claw marks going up to the window. This cat is literally climbing the walls to get out. It is like his body meant to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to propagate. Well, I, I mean, I can't see how that propagation instinct would lead him to pee in my corner, though. Well, let me tell you exactly how. He looks out this window. He sees one of the neighborhood toms walking by. He goes, oh my god, uh, must protect mm -hmm. the territory, and then pees off into the corner. And this cat is saying loudly and clearly, I have to get outside. This cat's not making a choice. His body is. All right, so here's the concept that I'm completely lost on. All of this is because you won't neuter him. All of this. Like, I can't make it any clearer. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I got something I want you to see. Just hold on one sec, OK? OK. For Eric and Kotar's first piece of homework, I had something brought over here that I thought would drive the point home pretty poignantly. Oh, boy. So. Oh, my gosh. I've got a homework oh assignment God. for you. Will each of you just open this box for me? Oh, my God. It's kittens. Oh, yay. Oh, my God. <gasps> just so you know, more than half of the cats that are killed in our shelters 
are kittens like these guys, over half. Mm -hmm. I needed to prove a point to these guys that for every time Vincent escapes that house, those kittens could be born. There is an immense amount of cats that Vincent is producing out there. Mm -hmm. So your first homework assignment is the biggest. Tell me you're gonna get him neutered. Yeah. You all right? I think that's the best idea. I mean, after what you told us about the kittens, that's, that's terrible. And I'd hate to think that I would be contributing to that problem, so. Realize something. By making this decision, you are making a global difference. Glad we got that out of the way. Let's put these guys back down, let them hang with their litter mates, and let me give you the rest of your homework, OK? I never really considered the ramifications of not having Vincent fixed. I, I don't want to be part of that problem at all. Second thing up to bat, got to get your place fortified, OK? Take care of the screens. Make sure he can't get out of the house. And that way, he won't get out again. And I won't be out here chasing him all around the neighborhood. Now, there's also the litter boxification of your house. You've got too much of a cat uh, for one litter box. I want to see a litter box in that corner where all the wood's been rotted away. You've got to set the cat up for success. You don't have to keep all these kittens, but you can keep them for about another hour. My friends over at the Best Friends Mission Hills Adoption Center are going to come pick them up. All right, I'm here for my third and final visit with Eric, Kotar, and their cat, Vincent. Now, just after I left the last time, I got an email from Eric with some pretty disturbing news. Murphy's Law, Vincent decided that he was going to pee on the bed. <sighs> what do you do? Now, since then, I've had some chance to take a look at their video homework, and I see some good and some bad. Now, the good news is that they're working really hard at bringing the outside inside, helping to make the inside a lot more appealing to Vincent. I also got to see Eric working on his new Vincent-inspired <laughs> song. Now, the bad news is that I'm still not seeing any litter boxes, and that coupled with the peeing incident means that I don't know what I'm walking into today. And I will get right to the point. You All tell right. me something. Last time I was here, I did ask you to put another litter box back in the house again. Did you guys do that? Yes, we yes, did. Yes, we did. No doubt. Yeah. Good. Where is it? It's in the bedroom. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you, <laughs> man. You actually, that's biting the bullet for you, especially, Eric. I think we should put it right in there in that corner. Now, of course, the big question since that incident. Vincent decided that he was gonna pee on the bed. Have you had any incidents no. here on not, not one? Not, not one. Yeah. Yeah. I can't begin to tell you how happy it makes me that Eric has not only added litter boxes around the house. But he's added one in the bedroom. This shows me that Eric is more than willing to compromise for the good of Vincent. And in turn, Vincent has rewarded him by not peeing in his stuff. OK, so tell me the truth. How's Vincent's mojo doing? Vincent's mojo is back. Very nice, guys. Bringing the outside in. Yes, and the catnip and all the little grasses. He really nice. loves that. I don't think Vincent's tried to escape at all. Fantastic, good. There have been great things that have happened here with Vincent and Eric and Kotar, but I need to see Vincent brought into Eric's music room. I want to see Eric singing Vincent that song. I will know then that Vincent and Eric have a bond and that Vincent is not going to wind up out here on the street. Ah, the familiar music room. Yep. Wonderful. Walking into the music room, I can't help but notice Vincent sitting in the middle of Eric's music room. And they had also provided him with a cat house, which shows me that Eric has opened up his arms and welcomed Vincent into his hallowed space. 